PK52, the Saturday morning meeting, there has to be an end or a stop gate to every series we do. So this is the fourth and final episode of by appointment only. Um, absolutely a lot of the stuff that we're leaving out. But let's talk about branding yourself. As you guys come to my seminars, I always tell you guys, the most important thing is to brand yourself. Let's talk about Toyota spending billions of dollars on the brand, the dealership spending so much money it's unbelievable on the facility, and to advertise people into the dealership. But we've got people who've been online or they've read our ads or they've seen online postings or national advertising that at $199 a month, at $169 a month, and you and I both know if you get paid based upon commission, that the commissions are gone out of those car deals. Customers dragging negative equity in, it's the highest negative equity in the history of, of the car business. Somebody comes in with $11,000 down with no money down in a Toyota store, we can't do any kind of business with them. It's, it's a lost deal. You'd love to sell them a car, they'd love to buy a car, they just can't buy a car, but they can go up to a Chevrolet store and get $12,000 cash back on a Tahoe and roll $11,000 worth of negative equity into that car deal. Tell me that that customer is going to be okay several years after doing that car deal. So we protect our customers by protecting our brand, by giving you great resale value. But the most important thing to market has always been you. So let's talk for a second. I'm talking about salespeople that do an average amount of car deals. Um, you know me, I'm always looking at 20 cars a month as, as a result for every salesperson. But I'm going to back that down today and I'm going to tell you the most important thing to look at is, is if you're at that 15 car a month, that 12 to 15 car a month, Let's look at 15 cars a month as absolutely the best you can do at this point. Again, there's 30 days in a month and 15 is not enough, but let's look at 15 because it may be the national average. And let's look at the other things we've talked about, service, and we've talked about body shop. I want to talk about social interactions today, social media and social functions. My first dealer made it mandatory that every person that wrote service, that did retail parts or sold cars was a member of a civic organization like the Lions Club or the Optimus or Rotary Club or Toastmasters. Do some research. Find a club that you believe in what they're doing. Cancer for children or crippled children or Vietnam vets or Veterans Association or Wounded Warriors. Um, I was involved in Special Olympics. I, I love that. I even got involved one year in the Senior Olympics. You, you've never seen anything in your life when you see a guy competing in his own category above 80 and he won a gold medal in everything he entered. You know, the 100 meter dash for him, you go out and get a cup of coffee, come back, he was still running, but his name was Bob and Bob was gonna get a gold medal. By the end of the day, he was bent over with all the medals there. But what joy he had. So find something in the community where people will know who you are. Everybody right now, that I'm talking to is a, is a random salesperson and the way you meet somebody is a casual meetup at a dealership and then you've got to spend the majority amount of time trying to convince the people that you know what you're doing and that you're trustworthy. When they come in and ask for you by name, you know it's going to be easier but you have to start day one and then build it. You can't just think about it because thinking about it doesn't do any good. So I want to wrap it up. Find a civic organization plug-in. Find a networking group. A group of people that, that you associate with. If you speak more than one language, make sure you have videos out there in Spanish and, and videos and whatever language you spend, make sure that you've got both prepared so that the customers that are not English first can hear your message in the language of their choice. It's a diverse country right now and we sell cars to diversity, so make sure that you're diverse. So here we go, let me wrap it up because I can do this all day long. Let me grab this real quick and I'll just put this in here. And, and I'm just gonna walk you through each and everything in here and these are some starters, but this isn't the whole list. Make sure you do a list of your own. I'm gonna start with ups a day. 900 ups is gonna give you 15 cars a month. So if you talk to 900 people a year and you close at 20%, you're gonna sell 15 cars a month. So whatever your closing percentage is, I've had salespeople in the past say, you know, Casey, I'm closing at about 85%. And I'll tell you right now, that's a person that really can't do math and doesn't count everybody. Then I look over here at social media. So I join a social media group that has 300 active members. What if I'm a 20% closer for the year, that gives me five car deals in a year by going to one or two meetings a month. Over here, networking group. So I'm in a, in a business men's or business women's association. I'm in some kind of group that furthers business 
in my city. And I'm going to say there's 250 people in there. That's four a year. Four a year. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to record service. And this was, man, you want to talk about one that really worked for me? I had a couple of record drivers out there, and if they found a car that was total lost, and they had a couple, they just give people my business card. They said, this guy will t help you with the insurance company. He'll help you with the body shop. He's a really good friend of mine. And, and I didn't get their information. They had to call me. But if I got a record driver giving me 250 leads a year, and that's one lead a day, not counting Saturdays and Sundays, I know record drivers are a little bit more active than that, but th let's just be honest. One a day is all I get. Uh, by the way, on a record driver, you, you have to call your record driver every once in a while. I'll remind them that you gave them the business cards. They're record drivers. So that gives me another four. My insurance agent, if you're spending money with your insurance agent, then I honestly believe that your insurance agent should be giving you referrals. When somebody calls up your insurance agent and says, hey, I'm about to buy another car, what's my rate going to be? They should immediately send them to you. You always should use a local insurance agent that writes local business in your community. Don't do Geico or Progressive Online or The General. You sell cars for a living, selling cars to people in your community. Spend a little extra money, pay more on your insurance, and get your insurance agent to be reciprocal with you in business. And that's so insurance agent, that's, that's again, 250, gives me another four, Oh, I got to do 36, my bad. I only did 36 leads a year, 36. That's gonna give me a half a deal. Your insurance agent can't give you a half a deal a month. Then I go down here and I go dealership associates. So 100 people working at your dealership. Where did they buy their last car? Where did their husband or wife buy their last car or their kids buy their last car? It's crazy to me to see how many people that work at the dealership didn't buy their last car at the dealership. What are they driving? Driving a brand new Jeep to a Toyota store? How did that happen? But nobody ever sits down and talks to the people in the back office or the service techs or the ASMs and say, when you guys get ready to buy a car or a car for your kid, just let me know and let me take care of it for you and do it as a courtesy. So dealership associates at 100 gives me another, you know, two deals. Uh, my sports groups, this is the best advice ever. I had four sons. They all played athletics. I always try to get my money back. Here's how I get my money back. At the first meeting of every Little League baseball game or Pop Warner football game, I went, hey, my name is KC. My kids are playing on the team. I sell cars for a living. I plan to sell each and every parent a car by the end of the season. And when, one year we were the Braves, and I said, oh, I did the gold Braves deal. We were living in Atlanta. And it's amazing how many cars you can sell if you tell them you're going to sell them a car. So I took this thing, and I said, there's 30 people. And so 30 people is going to give me another half. And then I did trades. My trade deal, 90 trades a year. So that means every other customer trades a car in. I, I've got a customer on that car. It's a 10-year-old it's a Corolla with 180,000 miles. I've got a person that wants that car. So make sure that you have a list of people looking for specific cars and we get the trade in. I, and I said, I'm only gonna close 20%. Each category is only a 20% close. So these trades that I know what I have in and I've got a customer for, I'm only at 20%. So trades, that gives me another two. So that puts me right here, this is crazy. That puts me at 33 deals a month. If I only close each one of these categories at 20%. So here's the deal, let's just finish up. So the biggest deal is when I get a lead from my insurance agent, I'm not a 20% closer. When I get a lead from the service drive, I didn't even put service in here. Here's a service bonus. If you're talking to 10 people a week and you only do five, five a week, that's 50. 50 times 52 is somewhere around 2,600 people that you've shook their hands with and talked to them in the service drive. If you close 20% of that, then you don't have time to deliver all your cars. But I'm not even putting that service number in there because it's working a paramount, building your pyramid of client base so that you can sell cars. Your record driver, somebody just wrecked their car, they need a car. So you're not gonna close that at 20%, but at a 20% raise that puts you at 33 a month, you're one of the top producers in the United States. Think about building your own network. If you really break it down, it's your own business. You get paid based upon a yield of what you produce. Nobody else is responsible for that but you. That's why some people in the dealership sell 40 plus cars a month, and some people in the dealership struggle to get to 10 a month. And to be honest with you, doing 10 a month is just as exhausting as doing 40 a month. 40 just pays more. This has been PK52, the Saturday morning meeting. I'll see you guys next week for another subject.